All of Southside is not bad. You can still come down and have a good time here and be safe. Southside business owner Christy Neff noticing progress. There is so many more police officers out. The underagers are going away now. They're not drinking on the street anymore. For Uber driver Jason Fair, it's a place he avoids on the weekends. I will not pick up anybody after 9 o'clock on Friday and Saturday. One Southside bar pausing operations. Foxtail saying in a social media post, quote, the climate for operating a nighttime economy business in the South Side has regressed to the point of being unstable and has led to a customer base that is problematic. In a public meeting tonight, Pittsburgh Police Commander John Fisher said within June and July, 10 firearms have been seized, eight arrests have been made, and nearly 200 other citations issued on the South Side. Towards the end of the evening, the standard operating procedure down there is that all officers are out on patrol. And I think that that starts at about 1.30, quarter to 2 in the morning. All officers park their vehicles and they're out on foot. The public safety director says they're looking for ways to utilize the former Southside police substation. Some bar owners still pushing for a curfew. A lot of these things can be easily solved, in my opinion. A curfew would do a lot. 11 o'clock, get these kids off the streets of Southside. Why is there a 16, 17 year old kid in the Southside at past 11? Blows my mind. Allison Harnden, the nighttime economy manager for the city of Pittsburgh, says her team is looking into possible funding to help bars get network ID scanners. If a certain establishment has a problem patron, the scanner has their picture, it flags them, and it notifies the other people, the other businesses that have those scanners. And the public safety director, Lee Schmidt, is continuing to work with the parking authority. He says they're talking about getting better lighting and possibly better security systems and security camera systems in place. And they also want to look at parking changes that they hope will encourage people to leave at closing time instead of lingering in parking areas and side streets. Reporting live on the South Side, Kaylee Gunderson, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.